Hey guys, I said as soon as I got home that I would make a quick video, um, so I'm making a quick video. Now last night before I went to bed, because I stayed up kind of late, I ran across a, uh, I guess it was a church site or something. It was way down during the scrolling, because a lot of times I just get these urges to do certain things. And for some odd reason, I just had this urge to keep scrolling. And I love to listen to other psychics talk, because... Everything that we get, we only get a small piece of it. So if we listen to each other, we can take all the small pieces and we can put it together and we get a bigger picture. Does this make sense? It's really simple. So I hear things, someone else hears something different, then someone else may hear something else. And it's not that any of us are wrong or that all of us are 100% right. It's just that we're getting tad bits of it. So it's a lot easier to listen to different people. That's why I always tell you, you know, just don't listen to what I'm saying. Make up your own mind. Listen to others. Do your own research. Because the way I do it is when I hear something, I look into it so I can explain it better. Because he doesn't sit down for 30 minutes and say, you know, pull up a chair, you know, and grab himself a Coke and say, you know, wake up, Jack. You know, we got to have this long conversation. That's just not how it works. So anyway, the woman has pink hair and her first name is Kat. And that's all I'm going to say. I don't know anything about her. I've never heard of her before. I've never listened to anything she said. Supposedly, she's she's written some books about how she's been to heaven ten times. Um... I'm trying to get this cat out of the way. Um, I've never read any of her books. I probably will never read any of her books. But I listened to what she had to say, and she kept yelling. She kept getting louder and louder. And the stuff that really made me mad is she was saying that that Donald Trump is God's child, and uh, he's the chosen one. And I'm like, well, yes, he was chosen, but not how she's kind of putting it. Um... Donald Trump is not Jesus Christ. Donald Trump um, is not going to be martyred, and um, we're not going to go to a church and pray to him. He's not going to be Saint Donald Trump or anything like that. So that's not what I mean when I say that God picked him. God picks people throughout history for different reasons, and he's never picked very holy people to do a lot of his stuff. They've always done something in their past. They've always been kind of questionable about but it's because there's something in there. God can see more than we can. Like when you look at somebody, you probably see bad hair, uh, overweight, bad skin, nasty breath, something. Um, their actions a lot of times are a little bit different, you know, so you kind of kind of question it. But God can look straight at somebody and see everything. And it's not like he has to wait. He knows. He knows people. And he knew that Donald Trump was the only person who was mentally and physically able to handle what he's been through, all right? You may not like Donald Trump. You may not think that he's a great person, but he got the job done, and he's still doing the job, and that's all that matters, and that's just how we're going to leave that. So I don't want it to make it sound like he's martyred, he's the great person, he's a saint, um, we're going to build cathedrals uh, to him, or, you know, no, no, no. So just get that out your head. That's not what we're saying. And you're silly if that's what you think. Okay? No. So just get that out your head. I'm going to keep saying that because you, you got to stop it. Well, then she started on saying that Mike Pence was going to be the next president because God said he was another chosen one. And, then, you know, he was so great. And I was like, ooh, hold on a second. One... I don't know if I've told you before. I know I have. Mike Pence is a pedophile. Mike Pence has been abusing children for a very long time. Also, Mike Pence was in a coup with one other person to assassinate our president. And this is what got Mike Pence in Gitmo. All right. Do you remember the missile that misfired? And they come back and say, oh, we don't know what happened. It just went off. All right. I know I've told the story. I'm telling it again. The missile was supposed to hit Air Force One because they have to, they have to know where they're going. 
certain people, not everybody. They're not going to send you an email telling you where exactly which flight path the plane is, but there's certain people that know. A lot of times they're also following them, all right? Not follow, but you know what I mean. So the missile was supposed to go off at a certain point where the plane was flying and it was supposed to collide and hit and kill the president of the United States, which would have made Mike Pence the president and uh, Mr. Paul the vice president because he was going to be the vice president. The two of them were in this together. Well, guess what, guys? At the last second, the pilot changed course. So instead of going this way and colliding with the missile, he went this way or whatever way he w Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. So the missile missed the plane, kept going up, and the plane kept going. Well, then they were, like, freaking out because they were probably going to blame it on Russia or Iran or whoever they were going to blame it on this missile hitting them. I'm sure there was some reason they were going to blame it on somebody. Didn't work. That's not the only attempt on Donald Trump's life, all right? There were many. This is one that I definitely have heard from reliable people, and yes, it makes sense because I remember the missile being misfired. They couldn't hide that one, all right? That was supposed to hit Donald Trump. Mike Pence was involved in that. He got caught. Now, rather before they knew that he was shady, I don't know. But you have to remember that saying you keep your friends close but your enemies closer. There's a reason why so many people have been in his administration. So many people have been in his cabinet. So many people have been close to him. And then they slowly get fired and they get mad. That's because he has been, oh, come here, I don't want to say trolling them, but he wanted to get close to them to let them think that he didn't know that they were, what in the world? <laughs> I hate it when they do that. It's so funny. Oh, my God. Like, like vampire teeth or something, like vampire kitties. Oh, my God. So... <laughs> Go away. I'm not laughing for you to come over here. Move, move, Libby. Move, Libby. Move. Move. I didn't mean for you to come over here. Stop it. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, let me go back. That this way they mess up and he's able to get the intel that he needs. It's like he's playing them. They think they're playing. Oops. They think they're playing Trump, but Trump is playing them. This is why he's always five steps ahead of them. Now, how Donald Trump and the team knew that that missile was going to hit there, that's for another story that I will go into later with you guys. But the moral of the story is when she sat there and said that God has chosen Pence to be the next president of the United States and that he has spoke and that is his law. That's not how God talks. That is not how God talks. And don't let someone sit there and say that to you. This is God's law. God has said. That's stupid. That's not, that's, that's just not how it works, okay? God never said Mike Pence was going to be the next president of the United States. I've already seen who the person is. I just can't see their face. It's a tall man who's probably a 50s, 60s, I, I don't know. But he had salt and pepper hair, all right? I have my ideas of who it could be, but I don't know. So I'm not going to come out and say, I definitely know who this is because I the face is still blurry to me. I haven't seen who the face is, okay? There's different people it could be. There's probably at least three or four different people that I think it could possibly be. But I'm not going to say yet until I get where I can see the face. And until then, we'll just speculate. Okay, we'll guess. But I'm not saying for definite. All right, I think it may be this particular person. I want it to be the particular person, but I'm not for sure. We all have to wait and see. But it's not Mike Pence. Mike Pence is in Gitmo, and as far as I know from the list that I had, Mike Pence has already been executed for his crimes of treason and crimes against humanity. So he, there's no way he's going to be the vice president. Also, the Mike Pence that you're seeing is either a C, uh Someone in a mask, CGI effects, or it's a clone, all right? We've already gone over clones. I've already posted videos about clones. But the point is, 
if you've got someone like that telling you and talking that way and banging their hands and getting loud and stuff, and they're just doing an interview, they're not doing a sermon, that should be a sign that there's something off with this person. And that, I guess that's what God wanted me to do. He wanted me to listen to this woman. And I've been calling her out. And I'm about to about check on that video I looked at and see if anybody has uh, responded to anything I posted on there. Um, she's even in Facebook. She's got a Facebook page. And there's a video of her standing in the door with this big old stick. And she's banging the stick. And he will be the president now. Boom. And I'm thinking, what the heck are you? You're not some, you know, lord or uh, Merlin or something. You know, you're going to bang your stick and it's supposed to happen. I, I don't know anything about this woman, guys. But I'm saying beware of people like her. In the Bible, it does say be careful of the, fro the, <laughs> the false prophets. There are many out there. Do not give these people your money, please. All right, don't give them your money. Don't every week donate to their their foundation. Why? So she can get on there and bang a stick and tell you who's going to be the next president. And God sat down and they had cheeseburgers together. It doesn't work that way, people. I'm telling you, it doesn't work that way. When I hear it, it'll say, like, when I had the thing where I heard the apocalypse. It said, apocalypse, wrong. It's them. And that's how it was broken up to me. Like that. And it wasn't like, apocalypse, boom, boom, boom. I said. No, it wasn't like that. It was apocalypse, wrong, them. All right, so I had to put it together. So that's why I got on there and I said, the apocalypse is not the end of the world for us. They got it wrong. It's the end of the world for them. Devil worshipers, Satanists, the cabal, the evil people, the leftover Nephilim, all of them. It's their, it's their apocalypse. It's over with. We are going in to another, I want to say like a dimension. It's going to be totally different. It's very loving, caring. It's full of light. It's just full of goodness. That's where we're going. These people aren't going to be able to handle Because remember I told you, evil does not like light. It burns them. It hurts. They're jealous of us, but it hurts them. That's why you have to vibrate high. It hurts them. This woman, I don't know. I, I She could possibly have visions. Maybe she does have some type of psychic abilities. And maybe she's like, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to um, over-exaggerate this stuff. And I'm going to make millions. I'm going to use this uh, Trump, uh, Biden thing. I'm going to get on here. And I'm going to tell people what they want to hear. And I'm going to say that God told me. And I'm going to make millions. One it's a gift that we were given from God. It's a gift. And when you are called to share your gift, then that's what you're doing. You're sharing it. God did not say, Jackie, I need you to hear what I'm saying. And I want you to start a, um, a corporation. And I want you to write some books on all these things that I tell you. That way you can just profit and then, you know, give me 30%. No, that's not how it works. That's just not how it works. That's not the way it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to be making money off this stuff. Now, if I wanted to write a book on things that I've learned and I wanted to give my own input on things, but not prophecies, not visions, then that would be totally different. If I wanted to write a book, you know, on my life story, well, then that's, that's something totally different. But as far as something that comes from God, comes from a higher power, comes from a guardian angel... I'm not going to write a book on those visions and then make millions of dollars because that's just not what it's supposed to be. I'm not going to start a company and tell people they need to pay $20 a month to hear what I what God tells me because that's not what my gift was. My gift was to share, not to make a profit, not to be my living. This is why I work. This is why I had two jobs, and hopefully I'm hoping I don't have to go back and work two jobs. If I do, then I'm just going to cut my hours back from the other job. It's too hard on me. It's stressful. And I was miserable. I'm so much happier now. I don't have a lot of money. I have really a lot less money. I'm barely making it. But you know what? I, I just know 
that everything's going to be okay. And I have faith that everything's going to be okay. I was told everything was going to be okay. And I believe everything is going to be okay. But I'm not going to start a, a thing and say, you know what, you need to subscribe to my channel and um, you need to, uh, you know, give me $20 so I can get on here and tell you what I know. No. I'm going to get on here. I'm going to tell you what I've heard, what I see, what I feel. Or if I do some research and then I pick up something from the research and then I'm going to interpret what I think the interpretation is. Like I said, all of this, you have to make up your own mind. You have to either believe it or understand it or say, wait a second, this doesn't make sense to me and do your own research. That's what this is about. It's learning. Okay, I'm leading you to the water. Only you can drink. I can't force you. Like, I can't force you to believe anything I say because I'm never going to be 100% right, but I'm never 100% wrong. And there's just too many times that I've called out something, maybe not just here on Facebook or on YouTube, but even at work, someone has asked me things and it's happened. So I already know. And remember, I told you about the Suzanne Summer thing. I'm in my bedroom and I said, God, Give me a sign that I can share with everybody, kind of nonchalant, to show that I do hear you. And I heard a voice, and all it said was, Suzanne Summers. And I started laughing. I said, Suzanne Summers? And I said, well, I guess that is kind of funny because she's not really in the limelight. She used to be famous. Um, she's still famous, but you know what I mean. She's not, you know, up there where everybody's, you know, you know, going crazy over checking her out. I mean, I'm sure she has a lot of people that still, you know, are on top of her life. But, I mean, she's not like Angelique Jolene or Jennifer Ashton where everybody's all up into her stuff. I mean, she, you know, her career's kind of fizzled out a little bit. She still does things. But she's not, like, on top of her game anymore. So I just went on Facebook, and I typed in one day, Suzanne Summers, and that's all I put. And I think it was about three weeks later. Could have been more than four weeks. I saw an article on here on YouTube, and it was about Suzanne Summers. Someone walked in her house. Supposedly, she lives up on a hill, and she was in the middle of a, um, I guess she sells jewelry, or she was doing something. She was live on her little thing, whatever it is she does. And this person just walks in her house, and she thought it was company that was supposed to come over, and she's still live on the thing, and she's like, come on in. I'm in here. And all of a sudden, she goes, who are you? And you can hear this guy talking. Oh, I just walked up the hill. And she goes, oh, you did? She's like, she's like, okay, well, you're not supposed to be here. And, I mean, it was kind of funny because she was being really cool. She wasn't panicking. She didn't raise her voice. She didn't show any fear. And it was hilarious. I mean, it's not hilarious that happened to her. Don't get me wrong on that. It was just hilarious, her facial expressions. And she says, well, okay, well, you need to go because, you know, I've got company coming over. You need to go. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, whatever the guy's. And she goes, hey, can you show him back out? And then she's like, make sure he gets all the way out. Make sure the gate's shut, you know. And then she's like apologizing to her live feed and everything. And But it was funny to me because out of everybody, out of every sign he could have given me to show you was Suzanne Summers. So I just laughed about it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine. I tried to scroll through my page to show that I just typed in Suzanne Summers. And it's so far back there because I, I post so much stuff. It was really hard to see. But I'm sure a lot of you remember I just typed in Suzanne Summers one day. Only one person at work asked me, she said, why did you type Suzanne Summers? Is something going to happen to her? I said, no. I said, we're just, I'm waiting and seeing. And she's like, oh, okay. Um, and that's just all I said. I didn't put anything, any explanation why I put it on there because I wanted it to be totally out the blue. And it was funny. So, if you didn't see it, didn't catch it, that's fine. I did. I got a hoot out of it. I'm glad it was something comical that happened to her. I got a giggle out of it. And if I ever got to see her, I would tell her what I did and apologize. I am so sorry. Not that I caused it, more or less. You know, I didn't, you know, make it happen. And I didn't pay the guy to go do it. I mean, it's just, it's just funny. I find it funny. But like I'm saying, that was just like reinsurance for me and for anybody else who got it. 
And yeah, I just, I posted it on there. Remember I told you, remember I told you? Because I was so excited because, like I said, it wasn't somebody like really feeling like Brad Pitt or something. It's just Suzanne Summers, like who would ever thought. So anyways, I want you to be careful. I really want you guys to be careful. If someone is asking you for money to hear their prophecies or their visions or something, you know, be careful. And if they're telling you that God walked in, they had this 30-minute conversation, kind of be iffy about that as well. Like I said, it's short, broke-up sentences. It's like when I lived in Waveland and I had my son in a bassinet and I would sleep. And all I heard was, check the baby. And I said, no, I'm sleeping. And then it came again, check the baby. And I said, no, I'm sleeping. Check the baby. And I was like, all right. So I jumped up out the bed. I turned on the light. And when I looked in the bassinet, it was full of ants. He didn't say, check the baby. The bassinet's full of ants. Your son's got bite marks all over his hands. It was check the baby. That's just how it is. That they, they don't talk to you and long, drawn-out sentences like a novel. you got to read the book or anything like that. It's short, it's simple, and it's to the point. He does not yell unless you ignore him like I did about check the baby. And, yeah, he did. He had all these little ant bites falling his little finger. I mean, he was only, what, maybe four or five months old. He was just a little, little bitty baby. And I put the bassinet next to my bed so if something happened, I was, like, right there, you know. I think all of us have done that. Um, but somehow or another, there was just ants in that bed. Nowhere else but only in that bassinet. And I'm talking about when I pulled him up and I lifted up the pad, it was just covered in ants. And it wasn't like they just had gotten in. They'd been in there a bit. And, I mean, I just was asleep. He wasn't crying. Wasn't screaming or anything like that. He was asleep. He was just biting his poor little fingers. I just, oh, I hate that. Remembering that. Because it makes me sound like I was a terrible mother. But it was just... He just had these little bites on his finger. He wasn't, like, covered in ant bites. He just had, like, two or three here and I think, like, two there or something like that. But, I mean, it could have been really bad if I had just completely ignored check the baby thing. But that I'm just using that as an example showing you how they've always talked to me, how God's always talked to me or my guardian angel, the higher spirit, the light, whatever you want to whatever you want to say. That's how I've always been spoke to. That's why when someone says, you know, I had this lengthy conversation with God, he pulled up a chair at the table and we sat down, we played a deck of cards. I'm like, mm, he's never done that with me before. Um, he's done some really silly things, but never sat down and, you know, did that. So I always question. And that just set off some really bad red flags for me. But if this is someone that you like to listen to, you like her way she talks, you can go ahead and listen to her. But I just want you to be careful because there is people out there trying to profit from this. And I don't want anybody to get hurt. I don't want anybody to be put in a financial situation because that might be money that you could use towards you or your family. Or maybe you could donate it to something else. I'm all the time talking about different ways that you can help let's say you um you know you've got an extra fifty dollars you're like okay i have fifty dollars I'd, I'd really like to do something good with it well don't give it to that woman with the pink hair good grief i mean there's uh food places that give out free food you could go buy some canned food a loaf of, a couple loaves of bread and donate it um let's say you know you can just go to your local um animal shelter and say you know hey i've got fifty dollars Here's some $50, pay for someone's adoption fee, pay for an animal's medical bill. Uh, you can go on Amazon.com. You can buy pet food. If you're one of these people, you can't walk into shelter because you're going to walk out with something. That's how I am. I, I hate to go in there because I'm always going to leave with something. And I'm maxed out, guys. I mean, I'm maxed out. Um, so, you know, you can go on Amazon and, you know, type in the animal shelter, you know, and send them a few bags of dog food cat food they like to get a lot of the soft food if you ever decide to do that because they put the medicine in it and that helps the medicine go down so if you ever do send them some dry food send them a few cans of soft because they have to put the medicine in it animals a lot of times it's hard to get that medicine down them I and 
when you're in a shelter and you've got a lot of animals, you can't spend a whole lot of time, you know, trying to get a pill down just one animal. So they, they, they try to put it in the soft food. They always could use cat litter, newspaper, old blankets, old sheets, um, stuff like that. Let's say that you just don't like animals at all and you don't want to donate to that. All right. Well, then you've got other great places out there. You could call your electric company and say, I have $50. Um, can you just put this on someone that's behind, that's struggling to pay their electric bill? You could do it with your water company. You could do it at the phone company. Uh, during uh, holiday seasons, you can go in and pay someone's layaway. You can stand around at a grocery store and just buy someone's groceries. Um, you can go through a drive through buy a Coke, and say, hey, I want to pay for the person behind me and the person behind them. <coughs> pay for their meals. There's so many different ways that you could give money without giving it to someone who is just out scamming you. Does that make sense? And I hate to use that because I don't know the woman. I don't know her circumstances. I don't know. Maybe she has no other talents and she feels like maybe uh, giving false hope, um, talking like that like she's a chosen one. Uh, to get money is how she's got to live. It kind of makes me think. You remember, um, what was her name? Fanny. Was it Fanny? Her and her husband, the, the church people, they were on TV. And she always had her hair all done up. She had the fake eyelashes on and heavy, heavy makeup. She had jewelry all over her. I mean, and I used to think all the time. And you would donate money to, to their cause. And they were always saying how they did all this stuff. Then... Why did they have such, so much, why did she have so much jewelry? Why were they dressed in expensive clothes? If you were honestly, now just, this is just me thinking, if you were honestly getting this money to help people, don't you think you would take just a little bit to survive? If this was your only means of survival, just a little bit to survive not live in a big elaborate mansion, not drive Lincoln Town cars or have limousines and drivers and have big old diamond rings or rubies or sapphires all over you. And would you not buy those things? And that would give more people money? That's just the way I think. Right? That's just the way I think. And it's like I've told people before. You know, a lot of people, you know, they like their birthstones. And... I tell them, well, don't go to the jewelry store and buy it. Yeah, they cut it. They file it down and make it all pretty. I can sell you your birthstone for, I can't even, probably 75% cheaper, your stone, than if you went to a jewelry store. And then if you want to take it and have some jewelry find down, that's fine. But I have amethyst. I have crystals. I don't have any rubies or sapphires. Um, but why would you want to pay that much money for for that? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't does it make it doesn't make sense to me. So that so somebody had told me when I at my other my other job, you know, I asked her what her birthstone was and she said it was Amos. I said, "Ooh, okay." So I got her a little Amos bracelet for her birthday. You know, it didn't cost me much at all. But if I had gone to a jewelry store and got her one, oh, I would have paid a couple hundred dollars or more. I paid less than 15 All right? So, if anybody wants to buy something from me, jewelry, not jewelry, but you know what I'm saying, you know, stones, crystals, things like that, I definitely, uh, that's what I want to do. Um, whenever Nassara Gassara kicks in, I want to open up my own little business. I want to keep the job that I have now and just work in the morning and then do that afterwards to about 5 o'clock in the afternoon and just do that as my business because that's something that would make me happy. That's something that I can communicate with people and stuff like that. It's not because I'm going to be rich. Hopefully survive, that's all. That's, that's all we need. We just need to survive, people. We don't need to be better than everybody. So anyways, that's the message I want to get out today. This is short and simple because I want to listen uh, to what Trump has to say, and I'm sure you do too. So be careful who you follow, all right? Be careful who you give your money to, all right? I, I don't want anybody 
put themselves in a financial bind because you think that these people deserve money. No. All right, they're scamming you. I just, I hate to say it, they're scamming you. And I just want you to be careful because I care about you. And I'm going to be completely honest with you on that one. And I am probably going to get later on tonight, go back on there and try to convince some more people that she's scamming them and that they need to be more careful. I don't know. She's like on my radar. I just, I can't get her out of my head. I guess it's just because of the way she talks and people screaming amen and, oh, it's like, oh my God, this is disgusting. It's just it's Tammy Faye. That was the name. You know how things just pop in your head? It was Tammy Faye. I don't know if I get her husband's name. But anyway, you know, just just be careful, people. Be, be really careful, okay? And I will talk to you tomorrow. All right.